Hey what's up guys, today we are trying out a game called The Brew Barons and right now we are selecting our starting pilots but as I can see Nigel and Francie are required for the tutorial so I guess well we are going with them because we do need a tutorial, it's our first time playing this game. Flying low and fast over water will refill your water meter quicker. Okay. The Brew Barons. Barons. Adley Bay. Right. Welcome to the sun bathed islands of the Adley Bay. At the middle of these warm waters sits the capital, Valley, the largest among all other cities in the bay and a true sight to behold. Rich in natural resources, bountiful fishing and favorable soil, the Adley Bay has boomed into a bustling paradise with boats coming and going with product in tow. Seaplanes and flying boats, an aeronautical invention only a few decades old and growing in popularity. Those brave enough to pilot a plane tend to do so for an occupational or economical advantage, while others, for crooked reasons. Brew pirates, backwater bootleggers. They taint these lands in choking smog, plunder ingredients and steal from the peaceful locals to forcefully sustain their brewing monopoly. The pirates operate in secrecy from the surrounding landmass of the Marieth and Del Holdin nations. Their presence expands, forcing their brews as they rove freely and unchallenged. That was until two unlikely heroes stepped forward. Nigel, a flunky from the Marieth Flight Academy. Undeterred, Nigel refuses to give up on his dream of becoming a career pilot. With very little flight hours on his record, he's eager to find anyone that will fly with him. And Francie, the daughter of a successful merchant in the Marieth capital. When she learned of her father's shop being ransacked by the pirates for goods used in their brewing production, she vowed to help protect the bay and return what was stolen. In this time of turmoil, our unlikely heroes unite under one banner and one name. Henceforth, the Brew Barons came to be. Okay. So, we are going to be fighting uh, pirates? Well, let's go. Okay. Alright, we're here. The city of Veli. The last remaining location in the bay that still shines bright with opportunity. Okay. Huh. Not a bad place to start a brewing enterprise. I hope the locals won't mind us setting up shop here. Some may be wary, but I'm sure we can sway minds and gather support if we can produce quality brews people actually like. All right then, let's do this. I just wish we had enough money left over from the renovations to buy a better seaplane. The salesman may have swindled us with this junker. Okay, well. She floats. This looks like crap. As I knew it would. Now before you head off, just a reminder to keep your speed low when entering or exiting any harbors. Harbors often have plenty of boats and obstacles that can cause some real harm to you and your plane if you're not careful. So just keep your throttle low and you'll do fine. I'm more concerned about the illuminated rust holes shining up through the floor. Rust? Uh, just think of it as weight reduction. Anyhow, remember what I said. Oh. And try not to fly too high. That engine has carburetor issues. Bye bye now. Yeah. Oh well, let's see what this thing can do. I'll give you a quick refresher on the plane controls and instruments. Great, let's start. This is our fuel gauge. We have a full tank at the moment and shouldn't need to refuel for a while. Oh, and one role of the co pilot is to give regular notifications on fuel levels. This meter represents the plane's cargo capacity. And currently, we aren't carrying anything. Take note that a heavily loaded plane will become a bit more sluggish in handling and speed. Highlighted here is our compass, attitude indicator, speed display, and altitude display. This is the engine throttle. Hold the throttle input to gradually raise or lower the plane speed. The throttle amount will remain fixed at that location when released. Just remember to lower your throttle when you want to slow down or stop. Throttle inputs, left control, and left shift. Okay. The red portion of the throttle bar represents sustained engine damage. Damage will limit engine performance. Below that is the plane health bar. From the looks of it, our plane currently sits around quarter health with reduced engine performance. 
Next to the throttle bar is the propeller pitch toggle. Simply put, you can invert your propeller angle and make the plane traverse either forwards or reverse. You would only want to use this if the plane gets snagged or stuck. And finally, steering the plane. Simply point the reticle in the direction you want to go and I'm sure your flying intuition will take over. Hmm, it's coming back to me now. I recall the ignition button has to be held for several seconds in order to fire the engine up. That's right. Hold the ignition button to start up the plane. Apply some throttle and follow the ring markers. They will lead us to the brewery. Okay, so we're off. We hold this. Okay, let's try null bar. What? What did just happen? Is the engine on? Uh, let's try again. Okay, so that's working now, more or less. Can we take off or... Follow the rings, okay, so... I don't think that plane's gonna make it wherever they're heading. Why? They are going good. What's going on? What's all that engine racket? Yeah, not the best oh, lane, geez. I guess. What are those people doing flying that monstrosity? Oh, we can, whoops, make a quick turns, but shouldn't have done that now. Shouldn't I be able to take off or am I doing it wrong? I would like to definitely take off, but that's just not working, I guess, at the moment. Okay, we are here. Welcome to our new base of operations. We own all three floors? Yep, it may look a little rundown right now. But it's just a matter of time before we turn this place into a grand establishment that strikes down the pirate's monopoly for good. The second floor contains the actual brewery, while the third floor sits mostly empty, waiting to be converted into a bar. And last, there's our plane hangar that resides at the bottom. See this golden square? This indicates a dockable location. This particular one will take us directly into our hangar. Always reduce your speed when maneuvering into a dockable location. Otherwise, you run the risk of overshooting and possibly crash. Got it. Now that we're here, let's get this plane inside and fix it up. Oh yeah, that would be great because it's crap now. Okay, so what can Welcome we do? To the hangar. Let's jump right into the basics. A plane will always need a pilot and co-pilot which you can assign in the roster tab. You can also assign idle pilots to a few other jobs such as brewery assistant or bar manager. You can do so by opening the repair tab located on the plane information panel. Once opened, move the slider all the way to the right to repair all damage and accept the purchase. Now that the structural damage is repaired, we can construct some new wings. Start by opening the modify tab. Okay. Well, our plane is getting better, right? Cadet wings. Okay. I the wing construction required not only money, but also crafting materials. I'm sure we'll find more materials while venturing, so we should collect and bring them back. Anyways, I guess we're now ready to fly. I Going guess. Change a few bottles of old cider I have for a valuable piece of plane equipment. Let's start by moving all the bottles of cider from the brewery inventory into the plane inventory. Okay, inventory, uh, brewery, plane, transfer. Cider is now loaded in the plane's cargo space. It looks like we're all set. Right. Let's head out. You can undock from the exit menu shown here. Uh, exit. Oh, headquarters. Exit. Okay, so a normal Oil, plane now, huh? Laps, rudder. All meters look good. Ready for the maiden flight? You betcha. You can see we now have a delivery contract located in the upper right. Okay. The bar is located within eye range, just on the opposing side of the city. Uh, okay. I thought it will be closer, that but that's okay. Square and small pier. 
pilots should always plan their dock entry route and exit route ahead of time. You'll want to avoid approaching the pier head-on. You will almost certainly crash if you're traveling too quickly. Yeah. Instead, approach a pier from a perpendicular angle. This presents the safest way to dock at a pier and also makes for an easy exit. Yeah, well, okay, that's logical. To help you approach at the correct angle, I've placed a series of rings. When you're ready, just follow them, and they will safely guide us to the delivery point. Take note of the ring color as you approach them. Their color will suggest the ideal throttle percent for the smoothest commute. Yellow is 100% throttle. Red is 30% throttle. And 0% just before the goal. Okay. I'll remind you of appropriate throttle power mid-flight. Let's start up the plane, throttle up, and get to it. So basically, I have to reduce the power once we're getting closer uh, to where we need to go. That's quite logical. So first off, how do we take off? Oh, so I just point it with the mouse up and that's it. Not that hard. Okay. Nice. This game looks pretty nice, not gonna lie. Okay, I can even do the quick turns midair. Okay, that's a more difficult turn, but we managed, right? And it shows my speed and knots. Uh, almost missed it somehow. And altitude as well, so that's nice. Okay, so we reduce our speed to 30% more or less. I guess it should be okay. Set 30 now. Yeah, it's more or less at 30, I think. So it should be okay. Boom. Blast off. Well, not a blast off. A perfect landing, I guess. Uh huh. I'm doing that, but I don't want to enter it too slowly. Let's speed up a little bit. Let's go here. We can lower the speed now, I guess. Okay, too slow. So we are here. That didn't take long at all. See this animated symbol? This means we're in a dockable location. When the dock input is pressed, it will bring up the docking menu. You can press the dock button now. Uh, the docking menu comes with several options such as resting or managing your delivery contracts. For now, let's take the first option and enter the establishment to conduct the delivery. So basically enter the bar, okay. Oh, we can even see the inside. Okay, didn't hmm. expect that. The floor is sticky. A bit of a dive, ain't it? What self-respecting person would drink in such a place? I'm sure the bar we build will be way better. Hey, a couple of new faces. Take a seat wherever you wish. Ah, I see you caught my ad in the paper. Is that cider? Great, you have a deal. But be careful with that plane equipment. Hydro aviation can be pretty dangerous in the hands of a novice. I'm not a novice. Oh, it's not just hydro propulsion, hydro projectiles too. But relax, I'm sure we'll be fine in your capable hands. Besides, we'll need an advantage if we're going to stand up to those pirates. Yeah, exactly. They're with a plane, so they won't be able One to catch more us. Adjustment here. And done. You're now set up to boost through the sky with a torrent of high pressure water blasting behind you. You're also able to shoot water projectiles in front of you. Okay. Oh, geez. I lost track of time and got to get back to my bar. One last thing if you're going to craft more brews, I might be willing to buy some more from you. But first, I'll see how my patrons like that cider. Take care. Thanks, Thatcher. Well, that's fortunate. We have our first brew client. Hopefully, next time we can deliver him something better than that basic cider. Sounds good. There's ingredients scattered throughout the bay that we could collect and craft into all sorts of unique brews. Though first things first, we should cover the basics of plane abilities. Above the compass is the plane's ability bar. It displays the currently equipped ability and water meter. 
plane abilities consume water from this meter when activated. Let's start by testing out the water boosting ability. It's great for hopping island to island at rapid speeds or gaining high altitude quickly. Okay, to how do we do that? must first refill the water tank. This will happen automatically when we are close to the water and traveling at around 40 knots or more. Well, Once that's we interesting. Water, we can use the ability by pressing the primary ability input. Left mouse Let's button. by following the rings and getting into position. Once we're in position, I will give you the signal to hold down the boost ability and keep it held down. Okay, so I guess we are taking off then. That's an interesting thing. I don't know if I like it so far, the water collection part. Not that realistic as the other aspects of the game. So can we... Yeah, we press the mouse button. Sure, I'm holding it. Okay, I'm basically flying at 180%, so... Damn! Almost like going to the space. Like a rocket. <laughs> okay, G force. Island from up here. There's small clusters of apple trees all around. We can try collecting those for our brews. Uh, so will we apple trees with your water projectiles to knock their fruit off and swoop in to collect them. If a tree runs out of apples, move on to another. A depleted tree will grow back after several days elapse. You can switch to the water gun by cycling the primary ability. Head back down okay. to a lower altitude when you're ready and test out the water projectiles. Sounds sure. Like plan. Let's not forget to refill the water tank when necessary and stay within range of the island. Now let's collect 100 apples. That's a lot. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if I like the idea. Like our engine is struggling up here. That salesman definitely sold us a lemon. Let's fly down to a lower altitude before it dies completely. I'm trying to do that. I should be like going like a rocket down because well, I'm almost going with my nose down so okay so apples right are those the apple trees let's uh, yeah those are I guess that's uh, he's out of the trees apple trees let's not crash here we can increase our speed a little bit uh, let's move up not crash as well and let's collect the water now so let's increase all our altitude or speed sorry okay let's move to the left okay not exactly how I wanted to move but okay Let's increase our speed and let's shoot that tree. Okay, depleted. That's good for us. Uh, let's go to the right this time. Yeah, those uh, turns are a little bit harder than I expected. Mm -hmm. Let's try turning again. Okay. That's quite a turn. So, this tree this time. And depleted. Good. Is that enough at go. apples? Yes. Apples Good. Yeah, that's good as well. Let's collect, I don't know, some water, I guess. And let's use the boost. Uh huh. So, how should I approach this? Where is our hangar? Okay, I can see it. Let's try lowering the speed. I think I'm going off way too quickly. 
And I don't have any speed, so I should be crashing, falling down any second now. We have to move to the right, please, please, faster. Okay, that was quite a crash. Okay, where are we? Okay, so that's not too bad. So, I forgot that... Wait... Does A and D do not nothing? Yeah, those do nothing, so it's only Q and E. Okay. That pretty much sucks. I didn't expect that, so let's use the boost. Okay, let's go easy now. Yeah, a lot slower, a lot slower, a lot slower, dude. Oh, so I can do reverse when I'm going a little bit uh, too fast. I could just turn on the reverse and that would be okay, I guess. So, uh... Back home in one piece and a cargo hull full of apples. Let's head up to the second floor brewery. You can access it from the exit menu. Okay, brewery, sure, let's go. You managed to fit a fully functional brewery on a single floor? Impressive, right? We can take those apples we just collected and turn them into brews in no time at all. The first thing we need to do is move the apples from the plane inventory into the brewery. Okay, sure. Let's do that. All of the apples, the that's apples easy. To be processed, I can quickly explain the brewery menus. Highlighted at the top are the brewery options. In addition to crafting new brews, you can also look up recipes, manage your back catalog, upgrade the brewery and manage any delivery contracts. Let's start by opening the create menu. Okay. The large metal pot is where we will blend all our ingredients. Highlighted is the brewery pot interface. It's used to measure percentage ratios of ingredients dispensed into the blending pot. It's important to know that only the top three ingredients in the pot of a sufficient quantity will count towards your brew outcome. So don't go throwing in a whole slew of different ingredients in, it won't do you much good. Beneath the ingredient percentages shows the value of your dispensed ingredients. And below that is the alcohol by volume percentage. As you dispense items into your pot, the maximum alcohol potential will increase. Maximum alcohol potential is something you'll want to take note of if you're crafting a brew for a client that has specified how much alcohol the drink should contain. Here's the reset button. If you dispense the wrong ingredient or your pot contents, don't reach a desired alcohol potential. Now the fun part. This is the ingredient wheel. It allows you to cycle through oh, damn, all that's the cool. ingredients that have been placed in the brewery inventory. Cool animation, not Let's gonna lie. Dispense button to drop all 100 apples into the pot. Damn, nice. The ingredients will blend once a total of 100 units are dispensed. Next, we'll add yeast to the mixture, which will convert into alcohol. The more yeast you add will result in a higher alcohol content. You can add yeast by holding down and releasing the scoop button. The longer the hold, the more yeast will be added. The process of adding yeast will stop if you hit the end button or if the alcohol content of your pot reaches its max potential. So how much yeast should I add? That's not enough. Should it be one on one? Something like that. Add yeast to reach the desired alcohol level. Oh, okay, that's a little bit too strong, I guess. Let's end. But never mind. Next, we'll process the mixture. We can ferment, which will produce a higher yield of drinks with a low value and alcohol percentage. Or we can ferment and distill, which will produce lower yield with a higher value product and alcohol percentage. Uh. I guess we go with ferment and distill. Take note that each method will produce a different type of brew. In this case, our apple mixture can either become a cider or a brandy depending on which method is taken. Let's choose fermenting and let the brew o -matic work its magic. Okay, so we're choosing fermenting this time only. Mead, wine, cider, okay. Presto! 
Our mixture has now been turned into a cider. This particular brew turned out a little basic, though no worries. Next time we can try crafting a brew with multiple ingredients to produce a better product. From here we can discard or bottle the brew. Let's select bottle to continue. Okay. We can start to customize our product to our liking. We can change the bottle appearance and rename the product to anything we'd like. When you're happy with the design, you can press the finish button. Nice, damn, we can customize everything basically. Damn, okay. That's actually pretty nice. And there's a lot of selection. We can even choose the color. Let's go with red. So it's a cider, so I guess it could be this one. Import label. Okay, not gonna do that. Mm, which one represents a cider? Quality blend. Classic blend. Class Let's go with this one. And we can select the bottle itself. Damn, that's cool as well. Which one represents a cider? Hmm... I don't know, let's just go with this one. Yeah, sure. Blend apple cider, okay. Our new cider brew will now appear under the My Products menu. This menu is used to produce more units of any branded brews you've already crafted. Should a client request a branded brew that's out of stock, you can open this menu to produce more if you have sufficient ingredients. There's one last step. Seeing as we have no client contracts requesting cider, we can stock the cider at our own bar, which we need to set up first. Let's head up to the top floor by accessing the exit menu. Okay, headquarters to the bar. Are we going there? A name there bar, used to be much yeah. Of old antiques collecting dust up here. It may not look like much and the floors creak terribly, but with enough effort, we can turn this into a lively bar. One that's stocked full with our own brewed products? That would be great. We'll have to start with a basic tarnished floor plan for the time being. With enough funds, the bar can be renewed and polished. In doing so, it will gather our bar more fame. This is the fame meter. It will rise as we improve our bar and sell quality brews. With more fame comes more sales. It won't be easy, but our goal is to fill this meter and create a renowned top tier bar that takes sales away from the pirates. In that case, we should style the bar accordingly to the types of brew we plan to sell. A bar patron that prefers cider might enjoy a rustic bar theme, whereas a wine drinker might prefer something more elegant. Sure. With all the chairs and antiques I found up here, it shouldn't take much for us to try out several bar themes. We can find a theme that best suits our brews. Let's start by choosing a theme for our bar. You can do so by opening the design panel. Uh, where is it? Okay, here it is, bar design. Mm, theme classic. Uh... Let's go with... Well, we have cider now, so... It should be our top priority at the moment. Yeah. Next, popularity let's bonus? Let's a good name for the bar. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe a name that portrays an establishment of sophistication and class? I'll leave that up to you. The choice is yours. Yeah, let's go with the bar here. Cheers. Curved. I don't see the cheers. Oh, okay. I see now. Let's go with curve. No. With yeah, with curved stools. Checker stumps. Capper backed. Checker. Let's go with uh, checker as well. I guess. Lights. Uh, this one. Okay. Walls. This one? No. Brick. Yeah. Wood stain. Chestnut. Uh, metal stain. Copper. Smoking. Non smoking. Uh, okay. Type the name into the text box and press enter when you're done. Where is the text box? Oh, here it is. Uh, p -p 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 player. Nah. Player bar. Let's go with this. I don't know. That's just a random name. Um, that's an interesting choice. It's Thanks. 
Different. Fortunately, we can always change it later. From this menu, you can adjust the cosmetics of our bar and upgrade the theme. Upgrading will help us gain fame a bit faster. Now with the bar all set up, we'll want to stock our cider so it can be slowly sold over time. You can open the inventory and make the brew transfer. There, we're now open for business. Be sure to keep the bar stocked with brews that suit our chosen theme. In doing so, we'll help keep our patrons happy. We should also get in the habit of checking in on our bar every now and then. We can review our sales history and gossip with the locals that might provide useful feedback. Right. It looks like we're all set and ready to finally start this. Let's get out there and explore. Make connections, collect ingredients, and grow our brewing enterprise. Okay, so... Uh, tutorial finished. New game begins. It looks like we have our first customer already. I suppose the word gets around fast in these sleepy places. If you want to talk to them, do so by clicking the gossip menu and selecting them. Okay, patron gossip, sure. Inspector? Sure, let's talk with the inspector. Why I cannot speak to them? Patron gossip. I am selecting the gossip, right? Yeah, but for some reason I cannot speak to them. That's interesting. Yeah, and I still cannot speak to them. Bar design, patron gossip. Okay, that sucks. Uh, let's exit. So, you know what? I'm not gonna continue now, playing this game. The game, not gonna lie, is quite good. Not for everyone, I think. I actually liked the game. But I'm not gonna be playing it anymore uh, because it's well, it feels like too much of a mix to me. I would like either a flying with a plane delivery game where we can just fly around and with our plane and deliver the products, the cider, etc. Or either do the... Well, make the cider, do delivery stutter and manage your bar without the plane deliveries. So... That's what I would like to do and see, but... I guess other people might enjoy the game and it's... Well, just me basically. So, yeah. That's it from me and I guess, well, let's crash our plane and see what happens and we'll end the game. Who doesn't want to see a plane crashing? Okay, that was quite a hit. Oh my god, <laughs> yeah, eight, uh, zero HP. Damn, okay. Yeah, so thanks for watching and bye.